In week two of NAVCT, the guards shocked everyone when they flawlessly 13 0 to 100 Thieves on Ascent. And the very next day, 100 Thieves announced that they dropped Baby J and Echoes. What in the world? Did 100 Thieves play that bad that warranted firing literally half their roster on the spot? Let's find out exactly what happened in that game. 100 Thieves start off with a mid heavy default with 3 tiles, 1 top mid, and 1 A main. Guard is running the standard Kildred Silva setup in B main. Basically, Kildred's turret will take first contact in off the sound queue, Silva will bounce his shock dart off the ceiling and into B main. This setup is strong since it gets guard early info and free chip damage with almost no risk at all. Jet's holding mid, Sage and Astra are looking to fight for A main control. The round starts and Baby J throws his cam into A main to get early info. The cam spots both Jonah P and Valen and gets broken. 100 Thieves now know that guard is showing heavy presence A main. When this happens, there's usually a gap in the defense either cat or mid, so 100 thieves start working mid to figure that out. They smoke off mid, but not cat. They then silver recon inside the mid smoke in case any cheeky guard players were ratting in there. 100 thieves want to walk up cat while making noise deep mid with their sky dog, but then Jonah P walls off cat. This throws a wrench in 100 thieves plan. Luckily for them, there's still a lot of time in the round. 100 thieves make the call to take back space in B main, and then come back to cat when the wall breaks by itself. They sky dog into B main, Echo breaks the kill to and eats a shock dart. Presence is shown, Ethan and Echoes then walk back mid to regroup with the team, but their mid smoke has faded and side player one taps Ethan as he's crossing mid. Jonah and Balance sense an A split coming, so they make the call to give up tree and double up bay. Asuna walks into garden with the drone and gets one tapped by Saya player. Echoes tunnel visions and sprints after Saya. As a result, he goes left alone in tree and he tries to work on his side by himself but gets classic right click by Jonah P. Echoes manages to hunt down Saya though and takes space heaven, but guard is slowly surrounding him. Baby J finally comes out of the A main smoke and gets taken down by Valen. Then Echoes and Valen play tag around Jen until Jonah P finally finishes off Echoes. 100 Thieves start with 4 towards A main and Cypher B lobby. Guard is running the exact same setup as last round. The barriers drop and Jonah P insta slows A main and breaks Hiko's recon. Both teams are trading utility for A main control. Jonah P retreats after getting dinked by Ethan. Nets turret doesn't see anyone B main, side player doesn't see anyone mid, so Guard thinks Under Thieves might be working towards an A hit. In response, Balan and Jonah P double up Cat. They have fewer numbers on their side of the map, so they want to play together and fight one side of the split. 100 Thieves begin lurking up A main, getting ready to explode on the site off contact. Then they hear Jonah P wall of cat. 100 Thieves don't want to risk executing on A with all the guard players staring at the A main choke, so they leave Asuna on A main to maintain the control, and the rest work back towards mid to break the stage wall and execute an A hit through cat. But 100 Thieves have stayed silent too long. Guard is getting suspicious, so all the players on the B side of the map regroup market to get info and take control of mid. Towards A main, these players are playing off site. They're not even looking to take these fights. Saya player. They find two picks. Ethan Sky flashes mid and swings to trade, but Sai wasn't flash and instantly takes down Ethan. Asuna and Hiko eventually die, and Guard wins their anti eco round. Now, Under Thieves have Rifles versus Guard, Spectres, and Marshall. This is their time to gain back the momentum. Under Thieves start with a heavy mid default. They want to take mid control with their long range rifles. Meanwhile, Guard changed up their setup. Nit has his Killjoy utility set up on A now, Sai player is starting B main instead of mid, and Valen is playing mid instead of A. Let's see how this changes up the round. Sai player walks up B main by himself with a Marshall. Guard knows 100 Thieves like to default and play it slow, especially if they're against a team with worse guns. So, Sai player knows he'll probably get a 1v1 in B main. He also has to dash to get away in case anything goes wrong. Wait, Trent is also staying lane with his shock dart out, so all Saya player has to do is tag an enemy in the chest for 100 damage with his marshal, Trent will shock dart off Saya's shot for enough damage to kill the enemy. That is actually 5 head. A bonus here for the guard this time around. Early aggression here, no wall is going to go down towards catwalk, instead it is- Wait, Trent reconned? Well, like- I guess I overthought the setup. No matter, the recon confirms that there's only one player outside of B main, and because Sai is a cracked player with a get out of jail free card, he confidently takes the fight. Very aggressive towards 100 Thieves respond by speeding up their mid take. Trent and Sai player hears a noise and double peek market together. Sai gets one and gets traded. Echoes dry peeks from market alone and dies to Trent. He probably should have waited for his two initiators to catch up to him before peeking, but maybe he just didn't expect Trent to have a rifle. While all that was happening, Jonah P walls off Cat. Guard settles into a solid mid round setup. They have killed Utility holding a main, a sage wall blocking off cat, Trent and Valen are playing together in a crossfire on B, and Jonah P is holding the CT walkout. Notice that Jonah P is holding a passive angle. This way, under these are forced to swing out wider before taking contact, and that'll let Valen get an easier trade. Only one spot they could be at this point in time. Eco and Ethan. If they can find these picks one by one, which they're being gifted the opportunity. Oh, Jonah P dancing around. Well played by Guard. Because Guard won their bonus round, this means their economy is going to be flourishing while Under Thieves go bankrupt.
A hundred thieves notice they've been playing it too slow and are just getting picked off. It's also their save round, so they make the call to change up the tempo and do something fast. All five members of a hundred thieves start the round in B lobby. As for guard, they have Killjoy back on B for the Killjoy solo setup, Astra mid, Jet A heaven with an op, and Sage A main, default slowing A main to keep things looking the same. The barriers drop and hundred thieves sprint out mid. They sky flash close mid to clear archers, they small cat and recon behind it to clear all of cat, they run a mid and flash market, the flash is nothing. Valen actually dodged the flash from his position, so he holds the cross and gets one. Under Thieves definitely should have waited for the Ash Smoke Gate to bloom before crossing, huh? With the Under Thieves making so much noise up mid, look how Guard adapts their positioning. Trent and Ned back up together on site. Valen falls back after his pick gate and shift towards B. Jordan P walls off cat so Guard doesn't need to worry about it and picks up spawn. And lastly, side player stays heaven, holding a main with his op. They have everything covered and they're ready to receive a B hit. Trent recons above B main to slow down the Under Thieves push. After waiting out Trent's recon, Under Thieves flood out from market. Ned takes a long range fight with his rifle and takes down two before getting traded. The long distance fight, the gun advantage, his Astra suck were all reasons why he decided to take this fight on lane. Trent gets into an off angle and takes down Baby J, then overheats and dies, but he immediately gets traded by Valen. No worries, Under Thieves are back on the full buy, and 8 for half for Under Thieves is still possible. Under Thieves start with an alien default. They want a working main and see what they get. As for guard, they have pretty much the same setup as last round, but I want to focus on this B main engagement. This untold story is the crux of this round. The round starts, Net instantly throws a Molly B main to delay any fast pushes, and Baby J cages across to gain space into B main. Baby J uses his camera to get info over his cage, and Net peeks and breaks the camera. Baby J trips B main to prevent any guard players from pushing, and Net breaks that too. Baby J just had all his toys broke and he's feeling a little butthurt, so he uses his second cage to give him cover and spams down Net through his cage. He tanks a shock dart, but it's not enough to kill him. It was a scrappy fight, but Baby J came out on top. He cypher ults Net's body and boom, Under Thieves see three guard players on A side and only one on B. So they make the call to sprint it down mid and hit B through market. Jonah P peeks from on top of his wall and gets an insane timing on Echoes. There's no turning back for 100 Thieves now. They want to commit to the B hit before guard reorient themselves. Sire so player swings out of the CT smoke, misses a knife and dashes away. Baby J swings out of the B main smoke and turns to focus on Saya, giving Trent a timing to peek and kill Baby J. Trent repositions himself into an off angle and kills Asuna who is swinging out on site alone. It's a 2v4 for 100 Thieves, they need to find picks if they want a chance in this round. See it again! Two kills back for Trent, he's holding back time for the rotations, this is working out now. Eco, Ethan, they could still absolutely make something out of this, and Eco is pulling this team back into this round. Two kills coming out from Eco, and now 100 Thieves! Down to a 1v1, the most important 1v1 for 100 Thieves, they can't afford to lose this. They have courtyard control. Ethan does get the And Trent takes down Ethan. Guard keeps their momentum. Under Thieves take a much needed timeout. Under Thieves look a little indecisive and decide to spread out in default. Guard has the same setup as round 3 with a Killjoy on A and Jet B main. The barriers drop and both teams trade utility name main. Jonah P leaves after breaking Hiko's silver recon and three members of 100 Thieves creep forward, ready to fight for A main after the slow wears off. Meanwhile, Ethan walks to B main and gets shocked by Trent, taking him down to 10 health. Ethan flashes, Trent recons in response. Side player creeps up B main with his op. Ethan feels this and sends out his dog, which gets destroyed by Trent. Ethan knows side player was inching up, so he flashes a corner, forcing Saya away from B main. Both teams did a great job of trading utility to fight for B main control. But at the end of the day, 100 Thieves invested two flashes, a dog, a cage, and a camera, and side player is still posted B main with his op. Guard came out ahead in this B main skirmish. On the other side of the map, 100 Thieves got A main control and Hiko rotates to top mid to take back mid control with his drone. This combined with the Arger smoke lets Asuna work up cat with his chamber ult. Jonah P and Net sense this and call to double P from Garden, but Asuna instantly picks up Jonah P and TPs away. After showing all that presence A side, they're confident that Guard has shifted their numbers towards A, so they make the call to regroup B for a B hit. We flash him off of this angle. Baby J decides to jump peek instead of using his camera and gets punished. Ethan uses his only flash to get Sai player off the angle, but Saya isn't blinded since he's already turned away. Saya posts up on lane and takes down Asuna. Off that kill, Trent throws a recon from CT and scans three members of 100 Thieves, resulting in two more kills. Hiko tries to at least get plant money, but gets taken down by Net. 100 Thieves are finally on a full buy. This is their time to turn it around. They can make this a 6 6 half. They open up with a B main heavy default. 3B lobby, 1 top mid, and 1A lobby. As for guard, they've drastically changed their setup. They have Sage and Jet B main, Killjoy and Silver are playing A with a Killjoy microwave setup in tree, and Astra's holding mid. They want to show 100 Thieves a completely new look. Off the start, Jonah P slows B main, and side player creeps up with a zop. Trent recons A main, and after the recon sees nothing, all of guard shifts towards the B side of the map. 100 Thieves smoke off cat and recon arches, establish 
establishing some mid control for themselves. Side player looks at B main, Ethan's flash misses side player, but side whips and dashes away, but gets blocked by his teammate. The trades go in favor of 100 Thieves. They have a numbers advantage, they got B main control. This is what 100 Thieves want. They're in a good place right now. They leave Ethan in B main while everyone else regroups A. Ethan skydocks to show some presence, Valance smokes off B main in response. Ethan flashes B and Echo smokes off market. Then Ethan skyouts from B main. He's really trying to sell this B fake. But look at guard's setup. They're playing retake on A and are stacked towards B. Their game plan was to retake A anyways, so both teams are going to get what they want. Trent and Valen quickly realize that it's a fake and immediately rotate towards A. Check this out. Net is one kill off his ult. In the retake, turret's going to go off. Valen's going to pop these stars, do what he can to delay. 100 Thieves smoke off tree and Net sprays through the smoke and actually picks off Hiko. This gives Net his killjoy ult and he immediately pops it. With only 30 seconds left, 100 Thieves are forced to plant and flee the site. Val and Asher ults to block off the spec from main main and Trent Sova ults wine, the only place killjoy ult doesn't reach. But Echoes masterfully dances around the Sova ult and lives with his life. Echoes living is huge though because he's able to set up a start and suck Val off the spike. Ethan whiffs backstab and gets taken down by Trent. Because of Valen's Asher wall, Baby J and Echoes are forced to push on the site to contest the spike, but the double post from Trent and Net proves to be too strong. This is definitely not looking good for Under Thieves. Because Under Thieves lost bonus is already at the max, they're actually able to kind of full by this round. They have 5 rifles, but 3 of their players can only afford half armor. Definitely better than only being able to afford spectres and marshals though. Under Thieves do the same opening default as last round. As for guard, they're back to their killjoy Silva setup in B main and alarm bot mid, but this time they have Jet and Sage Cat in Asher A Heaven. Guards have been doing a really good job at moving their Jet around, making sure Under Thieves can never predict where the op's gonna be. The round starts, and Side gets walled up on Cat. This is a sick off angle. Baby J cams A main for A main control, Ethan Dogs B main. Main, guard smokes up B main in response. Under these smoke cat and recon mid to get mid control. Side player actually can't see over the cat smoke even though he's on the sage wall. This allows Echoes to creep up mid. Yo, the alarm bot's on my ping. Can you shock it? Shocking. You missed. It's literally on my ping. Hiko, what are you doing? I'm literally shooting out your ping. What do you want from me? Under Thieves eventually break Net's killjoy alarm bot mid. This draws Valen away from A Heaven and towards mid. Under Thieves currently have control of mid, A main, and B main. With all the information they have, they make the car to regroup and end B. Asuna is spamming through the B main smoke, making a lot of noise. This is actually a high level mind game. Usually, if you want to hit a site, you want to be as quiet as possible so enemies don't expect it. So Asuna is making a lot of noise because he wants Guard to think he's making noise to draw attention away from an A hit, when in reality, Under Thieves are regrouping for a B hit. They join it through B main, they sky flash lane, and they get mollied off. After the mollies run out, Trent recons above B main to prevent Under Thieves from running out. The recon ends up scanning two though, and Valen gets two kills through the CT smoke. Echoes gets caught on his lurk, and now it's a 2v4. Baby J and Hiko's only option is to find 1v1s and win them, but Guard's confidence is through the roof right now, and they cleanly wipe out the remaining thieves. 100 Thieves start with 2 A main, 2 tiles, and 1 top mid. They've been ignoring Cat for most of this game, so they're starting to think Guard might have a weak Cat hold. 100 Thieves want to work in a split this round. The barriers drop, and 100 Thieves smoke Cat, recon close arches, and Skydog up mid with Echoes running behind it. They want to show heavy D mid presence to draw attention away from A. This draws 3 guard players towards mid, but then join the piece Sage Walls Cat. This again throws a wrench in 100 Thieves' plan, and now they're stuck out in the open in mid. This results in side player picking off Hiko. Echoes tries to look for a cheeky pick in mid, and backs off before he could get collapsed on. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Ethan is knifing down the Sage Wall. This is the first time in this game that 100 Thieves have actually broken the Sage Wall. Guard's lack of A main control, plus Ethan knifing the Sage Wall draws Valen away from mid and back to Garden. Guard has a knob watching A main, two players in Garden, two mid, and a turret holding B main. Once again, their mid round adaptations are on point. 100 Thieves begin executing their A split. Ethan sky flashes tree to start it off, then he flashes Garden, but Valen turns away from the flash and he takes down both Ethan and Nichols. Meanwhile, side player takes down Austin in A main, and Valen's suck prevents Baby J from scaling up. Side player is completely BMing Baby J and dies. Guard triple post up A main and Baby J finally gets taken down. This is looking very dire for Under Thieves, but hey, a 9 3 half is still possible, and as we know, the 9 3 curse is a very real phenomenon. Both teams are on full buys. 100 Thieves start off with a 1 3 1 default. Guard has Jet and Silva fighting for B main, Asher holding mid, Killjoy and a utility on A, and Sage Cat. Fun fact side player with his op and net with his Killjoy utility are never playing on the same side of the map. I wonder if 100 Thieves noticed that pattern too. The round starts and side player aggressively pushes B main past Ethan's flash. Ethan hears side player's footsteps, so he sky dogs to get info and take back space. The dog pushes side player back to the choke and Ethan flashes side player one more time to force him back. While that was happening, 100 Thieves smoke off Cat and start working up mid. Guard is reading this well. They already have four players converging around mid, ready to receive the hit. This is what happens when you can just sage wall a choke and forget about it. Under these pop a fake smoke gate, which lets Echoes lurk up and take down Saya player. A very high risk fight for Echoes, but it worked out in the end. Guard regroups to Red Saya and Baby J picks off Valen. 
Off that kill, Underthieves know that Saya and Jonah P are in CT spawn right now, which means Trent is playing alone on B. So they capitalize on this opening and rush into B site. They sky flash in in Silver Recon site. Trent counters with a Silver Recon of his own, and side player updraps over CT and takes down two. Jonah P slows the B main choke, preventing Hiko and Austin from getting out. Side player's spidey senses are tingling and he sniffs out the mid lurk, gets a kill, and the updrafts once again to take down Asuna. He gets taken down by Hiko, who gets instantly traded by Jonah P. Once again, Guard holds down the choke, stopping the under thieves from getting anywhere close to the site. This is looking really bad for Under Thieves. They need to get some rounds, so they decide to force buy this round. Under Thieves start with 4A lobby and 1 tiles. They're looking to change up the pace and hard hit A. As regard, we've seen their setup several times already. It's working so far, no need to change it. Off the start, Guard slow A main, instantly break Baby J's camera, and pop the one we smoke. Guard knows that Under Thieves actually use this suck off the start, so they have a gut feeling Under Thieves are heavy A main. Joan P wants off A main in response while also getting himself into a cheeky off angle. He's exposed a cat from his position though, and Guard doesn't know if Under Thieves are planning on splitting A or not. So Valen rotates to Garden and Trent Silva drones down mid for info. The drone sees nothing. Meanwhile, Under Thieves have cleared out all of A main and they start breaking the Sage Wall. They actually ult to block off Sai's op and they sky dog out. Jonah P breaks the dog and Valentine's a perfect Asher suck right as Asuna steps out. Sai peeks out from the wall and gets a satisfying collateral kill. Guard have numbers now, so they back off and regroup on site. They want to fight together using their numbers advantage. A hundred thieves just don't have enough space right now to safely plant, and eventually their actual wall goes down and guard mow down a hundred thieves. As we can see so far, guard's win condition is to keep a hundred thieves stuck at the the chokes, and so far, they've been flawlessly executing on that win con. Because Guard didn't lose a single round so far, they're able to afford double ops. Plus, they definitely have an extra rifle or two laying around on the ground behind them. Meanwhile, Under Thieves' economy is in a very sad recession right now. Like, Echoes can't even afford full armor with the Spectre. Under Thieves' Silver Recon A main, the Recon sees nothing, so they chamber trip the choke to maintain the control and they leave A main to work in another part of the map. Side player tags Baby J through the wall with his op and Nets turret finishes off the kill. Now, it would have been huge if Baby J could have taken down Saya, but his team just cleanly took A main and they're about to take even more map control mid, so he really didn't need to take a fight there, he just had to play his role and stay alive. Jonah P's boosted up on his stage wall in pizza. This lets him see over under Thieves mid smoke. Jonah P picks up Asuna, now it's a 5v3 for guard. Echoes breaks Nets alarm bomb mid to show mid presence, they're thinking guard might rotate mid off that, so they take this opportunity to hit cat fast. They didn't give Guard enough time to rotate mid before making noise cat though, and as a result, Guard is still stacked towards A side. Ethan Skydog spots side player opping on site, so he uses his only flash to flash side player off the angle. But because of that, the rest of Under Thieves end up dry peeking into Trent and Valent, and Trent destroys the remaining thieves. 